Hello, Nana here. Welcome to the video update for February 2017. Background footage that you see all around me is some footage from the early alpha for Oxygen Not Included, a very fun colony management simulator, which I suspect you will see me play in the not too distant future. But Let's get to the update. We have passed 600 subscribers, currently hovering at about 620 and rapidly rising. Actually, growth in the last week has been so strong that I actually held off on publishing this video because I half expected it to be YouTube messing up on the statistics. And of course, you don't want to celebrate a milestone too early only to have it yanked away by YouTube. But growth is only increasing and I haven't uh, heard any other YouTubers complaining about much stronger growth than normal. So I'm assuming that indeed a lot of you have just joined the channel. So welcome to everybody who has been here for a short term and I hope you'll stay here for a while and enjoy the content. So let's discuss the current state of the channel. We, of course, still have Path of Exile going on as our main game episode every day. And our Plague Witch has reached the end game. We're mapping. Unfortunately, we died on Hardcore. But in Path of Exile, Hardcore is not the end. It merely means you transition to Standard League, where, of course, you... Uh, have access to all the gear and stuff on Standard League. So we are just continuing with mapping. I managed to get ourselves a bunch of sacrifice fragments. So in the not too distant future, we're gonna do some Ziri runs as well. See how that works out for our character. And of course, we are on the verge of pushing into red maps. The end game content. And with about a week left in the current league season in the bridge league season before the legacy league starts i think you no know, doing things like red maps doing things like at runs are going to be fun just to close things off of course legacy league is going to start next week friday that's going to be the third of march i'll be playing that i'm actually thinking to not do my usual four or five videos per day during launch weekend but i'm actually thinking of streaming some of the gameplay during that weekend and then doing like one or two recap videos per day just to have something on youtube and pushing through the first part of the content in the first weekend just to see if well, i'm just playing in a uh, uninterrupted time frame if we can make a bit more progress during that first weekend without producing 20 or 30 videos that would then take a month to record. So the idea is there, of course, that we're gonna play through normal difficulty in maybe the first weekend. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I know there's, there's uh, a lot of experienced people who just run through and you know, at the end of the first day, they're already running maps. Not entirely sure if I'll be able to, uh, to do that, but we'll see. So a lot of interesting stuff coming up for Path of Exile. Then we have Grim Dawn, which is, in terms of the number of views that each video gets, Grim Dawn is currently more popular than Path of Exile, which is interesting because it started as just a fun side game. No, I had it on a rotation of one episode every three days alternating with uh, Brimworld, which was on the same frequency, and then having one a day off, just so I had a little bit of time to uh, just buffer things up and keep things manageable. Now, of course, that our Brimworld series has concluded, I have a little bit more time left, so I'm doing uh, Grim Dawn every other day. And apparently a lot of you are liking what you see, because no, each video on average gets more video than a regular Path of Exile view. So that's pretty cool. I'm no, still enjoying Grim Dawn a lot and I'm not gonna stop any time soon. Then that concludes us for the current games. So let's look a little bit ahead. But first, a little step backwards and instead of talking about the games and about the channel, I'm gonna have a quick talk about me. Um, 
Nope. A YouTube channel. It's of course one person playing games, or at least in my case, is in my case, it's one person playing games. And the channel and the person, they are very tightly interwoven. Um, no, nope. some people they put up a persona. In my case, I'm just being myself. I don't. I'm a really bad actor. I don't know how to put up a persona, and I don't think I could pull it off even if I wanted to. So what you see is what you get, and that of course means. No, if I've got my good days, I have my good days. If I don't have good days, I try to not record on those days. Well, the thing is, I'm kind of hit a bit of a, a burnout in my professional life. No, during the day, I'm a freelance software developer. I work on some, some interesting projects with some interesting people. But no, the reason usually if you start freelancing, it means you, no, you, you like to push ahead, maybe a bit more ambitious than you know, if you're generally uh, no happy being an, an employee. But of course, the counterpoint to that is of course that you have a habit of just pushing yourself uh, harder and harder to achieve more and more. And in my case, I well, started experiencing that at the end of a day of work. I was just done with it and oftentimes i was just completely drained of energy and no nope, i work during the day and in the evenings i do to do my youtube things and in the weekends i also do my youtube things but i was pushing myself a bit too hard uh, on the one hand uh, with the work side especially uh, working on a uh, long-term project that was a lot of fun for a long time but over time, it has just gotten a lot less fun and a well, growing source of stress in my life. So at the end, at the end of the day, I was just completely drained. But, but no, not really physically, but more emotionally, mentally drained. And it was hard to keep up with the, the YouTube stuff. So oftentimes I was batch recording during the weekends, but didn't really get a lot of time to rest and now that basically creates a vicious cycle where you don't really take enough time to recover so it just gets worse and worse and now in the end i spotted it a colleague of mine had a similar thing we were working on the project together for a long time and basically decided to just work less in my case, I'm now currently working three days. The other two days, I'm just taking off. I'm not really someone that takes a lot of vacations. Um, so no, that, that's also probably one of the reasons why I'm hitting the burnout now. So the upside of that is I work three days and then I have four days of a weekend. So I actually have a bit more time to not feel like I have to do anything. And that allowed me to play some games, like for example, Oxygen Not Included. But there's a couple of other games. I've been putting quite some time in a trading game called Winds of Trade, which is a very uh, interesting game. It's a, a trading simulation that has a lot of potential. And uh, it launched in the middle of February. And it launched as a, a fully released title. And I'm personally of the opinion that the devs should actually have released into early access for a month or two because it is rather rough around the edges. But it has potential to be a really nice trading simulator. No, in the same vein as a Patrician or a Rise of Venice would be. So I've been... been Nope, the, the devs have been putting out patches every one or two days. And I've been just playing the heck out of those and giving a lot of constructive feedback. Almost acting like a beta tester for the, for the game. Uh, putting like a, a, an hour or two in every day just to play the game, uh, write posts on the Steam forums and things like that. And the devs have been really enthusiastic about that. And they've been listening to the community, adding a ton of quality of life features and... Oh, just slowly pushing the game towards a more interesting state. So in the nearby future, you can probably expect a video for that as well. Just a, a, a I'm, I'm 
thinking of maybe doing a, a new series of uh, early look videos. So Oxygen not included, of course, it's in uh, early alpha. Winds of Trade, it has an early access feel, so I might as well work on that. Uh, I call it uh, an, an early look because the game is still changing too much and it's not polished enough to do a proper let's play for it. But no, on the other hand, it is a game that I th I'm enjoying a lot, getting a lot of uh, just, just fun out of it. And oh, that way, if I share it with you, then at least you know what I'm playing. And oh, hey, if I enjoy it, chances are a lot of you will enjoy it as well. Because of course, there's a reason you're watching videos on this channel. Um, another game I've been playing is Production Line, made by Positec. So, a name that's been going uh, back for quite a while as, a, as an indie dev. And in that, you built a car factory. And I'm completely not a car person, but I do enjoy games like Factorio and all kinds of automation games. And building a car factory is definitely an interesting challenge. And that is also in a early alpha state. But no, it, it's pretty solid. There's not really a lot of bugs that I've run into. And it's one of those games that you start playing it. And before you realize the evening has passed and it is time for bed. So yeah, basically, no, I'm, I'm taking my extra time off to just play more games, enjoy more games, regain some of my energy, uh, rest a bit. But as a side effect, of course, it means I have more time available to make some, some one-off videos. I'm currently, no, I'm not gonna commit to making more series. I think I've basically managed to figure out the limit of the amount of series I can do and maintain at a single time. And but well, making some some one-off videos for now seems like a good idea. And I think that's going to be it for this video update. So no, we're celebrating 600 subscribers, onwards to 700. Channel growth has only been just going up over time. So chances are the 700 subscribers video is going to come a lot sooner than. No, the time between the previous video and this one. And with that, thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.